Number 24, what is the period of a one meter long pendulum? All right, so I talked about the difference between some of the formulas here in number 22, so please check out number 22. I'm gonna run through this one, all right? So the formula for the pendulum here is going to be T, or the period of oscillation of a pendulum, will equal two pi multiplied by the square root of the length of that pendulum's arm divided by G. So essentially, uh, there's only two variables, period and length. If you know one, you can find the other. So we gotta find the period, and they told us the length, right? So this is actually very nice, right? T is the unknown. I'm gonna just plug in now the length that they told us one meter and divide that by 9.8. And simply just plug that on into the calculator. This one's nice, right? I love problems like this, don't you? If only all of physics was this way. So two pi times the square root of one divided by 9.8, and we get about two, right? Two point, I guess, zero, one, and that's going to be in terms of seconds. That's the period, right? That is the time it takes for one oscillation, one swing, whatever you wanna call it. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care, thank you.